In the vast expanse of space, two American astronauts gaze out the windows of the International Space Station, their extended stay marking a stark reminder of how quickly dreams of spaceflight can turn into prolonged uncertainty. For Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, what began as an eight-day mission has stretched into a 286-day odyssey, all because their ride home, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, couldn't safely bring them back to Earth. Last September, as the Starliner Calypso capsule descended through the atmosphere without its crew, touching down in the New Mexico desert, it carried with it more than just unfulfilled promises. It brought Boeing's space ambitions crashing back to reality, along with $2 billion in losses, a financial black hole that's now consuming one-sixth of the company's total losses for 2024. But this isn't just Boeing's problem anymore. The ripples are spreading across the entire American space program. SpaceX, already NASA's reliable workhorse, now faces a scrambled launch schedule as they prepare their Dragon spacecraft for an unprecedented rescue mission. Meanwhile, Boeing's troubles keep mounting. Safety incidents, labor strikes, and quality control concerns that reach far beyond their space division. In the coming minutes, we'll unravel the story of how one of America's most trusted aerospace giants found itself in this predicament and what it means for the future of human spaceflight. From the technical failures that stranded two veteran astronauts to the boardroom decisions that led to this moment, we'll examine how Boeing's $4.6 billion NASA contract transformed from a symbol of American innovation into a cautionary tale about the true cost of cutting corners in the space industry. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the most comprehensive analysis of these industry-shaping events. Let's dive right in. As Sunita Williams floated through the International Space Station's cupola module last January, her reflection in the window told a story. Her sunken cheeks and weary eyes weren't just signs of extended spaceflight, they were badges of an unexpected ordeal. Nearly nine months had passed since what should have been an eight-day mission began. In a video call with her family, her sister tearfully noted how different she looked. We just want you home, she said, her voice breaking. The stars outside remained constant, but down on Earth, Boeing's reputation was falling faster than a meteor. The clock struck midnight on September 7, 2024, as Boeing's Starliner Calypso capsule touched down at White Sands Space Harbor. The landing was perfect, almost poetic, except for one crucial detail, the seats were empty. Inside Mission Control, flight directors exchanged worried glances. The very astronauts it was meant to bring home remained in orbit, watching their ride home land without them. This moment wasn't just a technical failure. It was a turning point in American spaceflight history that would echo through the halls of NASA for years to come. You might be wondering how we got here. The story begins long before Williams and Wilmore ever stepped foot in the Starliner. Back in 2014, NASA made a bold move that would reshape the future of space travel. They handed out two contracts, $2.6 billion to SpaceX, the ambitious newcomer, and $4.6 billion to Boeing, the aerospace veteran. At the contract signing ceremony, Boeing executives spoke confidently about leveraging their decades of experience in human spaceflight. We're not just building a spacecraft, one executive declared, we're continuing America's legacy in space. The message was clear. America needed two reliable ways to reach the stars. But what happened next would challenge everything we thought we knew about space industry giants. Boeing's journey with Starliner has been anything but smooth. Remember December 2019? The first uncrewed test flight never even made it to the International Space Station. Software glitches, plural because one apparently wasn't enough, sent the capsule into the wrong orbit. Engineers worked through Christmas trying to save the mission, their holiday dinners growing cold as they hunched over computer screens. It was like watching a straight-A student fail their first major exam, but that was just the beginning of a cascade of failures that would shake NASA's confidence to its core. The real drama unfolded in June 2024. Williams and Wilmore, two of NASA's most experienced astronauts with over 500 days in space between them, strapped themselves into Starliner for what should have been a routine test flight. The launch went well, with Wilmore reportedly joking about the new spacecraft smell. But as they approached the ISS, the thrusters started acting up. 
Think of it like trying to parallel park your car, but the steering wheel only works when it wants to. Ground control teams broke into a cold sweat as they watched the spacecraft's erratic movements. They made it to the station, but the problems were far from over. Then came the helium leaks, silent, invisible, but potentially catastrophic. In space, helium isn't just for birthday balloons. It's crucial for pressurizing fuel tanks and keeping critical systems running. As the leaks persisted, NASA engineers on the ground worked around the clock, their families bringing them changes of clothes and meals as they refused to leave their posts. Young engineers fresh out of college worked alongside veterans who'd been there since the Apollo days, all united in their desperate search for solutions. But with each passing day, the risk grew. By September, NASA had seen enough. The decision was made. Starliner would return empty, and SpaceX would have to mount a rescue mission. This wasn't just a technical failure. It was a $2 billion mistake that sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. To put that in perspective, that's one-sixth of Boeing's total losses in 2024. Enough money to fund several smaller space companies' entire development programs. For a company already dealing with safety incidents, labor strikes, and quality control concerns across its commercial aviation division. This was a blow they could hardly afford. Inside Boeing's offices, the mood turned somber as employees who'd poured years of their lives into the project watched their dreams literally fly away. The human cost? Williams and Wilmore have spent over 286 days in space, far beyond their planned mission duration. Wilmore missed his daughter's college graduation, Williams couldn't be there when her nephew was born. Their families have watched birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays pass by as their loved ones orbit 250 miles above Earth. The physical toll has been evident. Williams' photographs showing visible signs of extended spaceflight sparked public concern and brought human spaceflight risks into sharp focus. During one particularly poignant space-to-ground call, Wilmore's voice cracked as he described watching sunset after sunset each one a reminder of another day away from home. The story takes another turn with SpaceX's Crew Dragon, now tasked with a mission it was never meant to perform. The original plan was simple. Crew 10 would launch in late March, allowing for a normal crew handover. Instead, NASA and SpaceX had to completely reorganize their flight schedule, a complex dance of spacecraft and crew rotations that would make any air traffic controller's head spin. They're now preparing to bring Williams and Wilmore home as early as March 19th, using the Crew-9 Dragon spacecraft currently docked to the station. Inside SpaceX headquarters, teams have been working overtime to ensure their spacecraft is ready for this unprecedented rescue mission. The political fallout has been just as dramatic. Former President Trump took to Truth Social, calling for immediate action to rescue the abandoned astronauts. His posts sparked a firestorm of debate about America's space program and its reliance on private companies. Elon Musk himself weighed in on X, criticizing the lengthy stay and offering SpaceX's assistance. Congressional hearings were called, with lawmakers demanding answers about how a company as established as Boeing could fall so far short of expectations. The space race has become a political football with the safety of American astronauts at the center of the debate. Meanwhile, Boeing's leadership is playing musical chairs in what critics call a desperate attempt to save face. Mark Nappy, who led the Starliner program since 2022, is being moved to a new role, just months before his retirement. His replacement, John Mulholland, who previously led the program from 2011 to 2020. It's worth noting that under Mulholland's earlier leadership, many of Starliner's critical design decisions were made, decisions that would later come back to haunt the program. Inside Boeing's engineering departments, morale has hit rock bottom as talented engineers watch their hard work being overshadowed by management missteps. The problems run deeper than just leadership changes. In May 2024, Boeing and NASA discovered a fundamental design vulnerability in Starliner's propulsion systems, the very systems meant to bring astronauts safely home. This wasn't a simple manufacturing defect, it was a basic design flaw that had somehow made it through years of reviews and testing. Engineers who raised concerns early in the development process have come forward claiming their warnings were ignored in the rush to meet deadlines. One anonymous engineer described it as watching a train wreck in slow motion. Boeing's broader corporate struggles have led to even bigger changes. 
CEO Dave Calhoun is stepping down, making way for Robert Kelly Ortberg, a seasoned aerospace executive from outside the company. With his mechanical engineering background and 35 years of industry experience, Ortberg faces the monumental task of steering Boeing through its darkest chapter since the 737 MAX crisis. His appointment came with a $1.5 million annual base salary and potential incentives totaling $2.5 million, numbers that raised eyebrows given Boeing's financial struggles. The financial implications are staggering. Of the original $4.6 billion contract, $2.7 billion has already been paid out. The remaining $1.9 billion hangs in the balance, meant to cover six crew rotation flights, flights that seem increasingly unlikely to happen. Boeing shareholders have watched in horror as the company's stock price fluctuated with each new revelation. Meanwhile, SpaceX has proven so reliable that NASA has extended their contract to include additional missions, bringing their total contract value to nearly $5 billion for 14 operational launches. The contrast couldn't be more stark. While one company soars, the other struggles to leave the ground. Looking ahead, the future of Starliner appears increasingly uncertain. NASA faces a difficult choice, continue pouring resources into a troubled program, or accept SpaceX as their sole crew transport provider. A situation they've tried desperately to avoid. The space agency is considering two options, either certifying Starliner for crewed missions despite the incomplete test flight or downgrading it to cargo-only flights. Neither option seems particularly appealing and both represent a significant departure from NASA's original vision of two fully operational crew transport systems. But here's the kicker. The International Space Station itself is scheduled for retirement in the 2030s. As Elon Musk pointed out, what's the point of certifying a spacecraft that might only serve for a few years? The timing couldn't be worse for Boeing as their window of opportunity slowly closes. Some industry analysts have begun to question whether Boeing's space division can survive this crisis, especially given the company's broader challenges. The implications for American spaceflight are profound. The dream of having two independent ways to reach the ISS, a cornerstone of NASA's commercial crew program, seems to be slipping away. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft has become not just the preferred option, but potentially the only option for American astronauts. This situation raises serious questions about competition, innovation, and the future of commercial spaceflight. For Williams and Wilmore, their extended stay aboard the ISS will soon come to an end. Their personal sacrifices, missed family moments, physical challenges, and psychological strain have become symbols of both human endurance and corporate failure. But their experience has forever changed the landscape of commercial spaceflight. Their ordeal has exposed the risks of rushing spacecraft development, the importance of thorough testing, and the human cost of corporate competition in the space industry. Boeing's struggle with Starliner isn't just about a spacecraft that couldn't fulfill its promise. It's about the delicate balance between innovation and safety, corporate pride and practical reality, and ultimately, the true cost of reaching for the stars. As we watch this drama unfold, one thing becomes clear. In the business of human spaceflight, there are no shortcuts to success. Each bolt, each line of code, each management decision carries the weight of human lives. In the coming weeks, as Williams and Wilmore finally make their way back to Earth aboard SpaceX's Dragon, they'll carry with them not just their personal belongings, but also the weight of a lesson learned the hard way. When it comes to human spaceflight, reliability isn't just a metric on a spreadsheet. It's the difference between coming home on schedule and watching your ride leave without you. Their story will be remembered not just as a cautionary tale of corporate ambition gone wrong, but as a testament to human resilience in the face of technological failure. As Boeing faces this pivotal moment, the future of American spaceflight hangs in the balance. The Starliner saga has taught us that even giants can stumble and that the road to the stars is paved with more than just good intentions. It requires unwavering commitment to safety, transparency, and excellence. For Williams and Wilmore, their journey will end not with the spacecraft they started with, but with the reliability of SpaceX's Dragon. Their story reminds us that in the space industry, second chances come at a steep price, measured not just in billions of dollars, 
but in the precious time of those who risk their lives to push the boundaries of human exploration. The question now isn't just whether Boeing can recover, but whether the dream of having two American spacecraft serving the ISS will survive. We'll continue tracking this developing story, bringing you the latest updates as they unfold. If you want to stay informed about the future of commercial spaceflight and the ongoing developments in this story, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this analysis helpful and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Boeing's chances of turning the Starliner program around? Your engagement helps us create better content for our space enthusiast community. Until next time, this is Elon Musk 24 Hours, keeping you connected to the cutting edge of space exploration.